A nurse records the five-minute APGAR scores of all babies born in the maternity ward on a given day. We're going to use a calculator to create a relative frequency distribution for this data. And then we're going to use it to find the relative frequency of an APGAR score of at least seven. So let's start by entering our data into the list. So stat and then edit. And in list one, we'll type in our values. So eight, 10, 10, seven, nine, 10, nine, 10, six, four, eight, four, eight, three, nine, nine, 10, 10, six, and 10 for a total of 20 values. So we can see it's 20 right there, and we count 20 values in the problem as well. Let's sort this data by going to stat and sort A, typing in list one and pressing enter. When we go back, we see our data has been sorted. Now we're going to look at this and find what are all of our unique values to write into list two. So there's three, four. You can write the five if you want, but there weren't actually any five, so we can go straight to six seven, eight. When we scroll down, we see there are also nines and tens. So we'll type in nine and 10 for our frequency table. Now in our list three, we're going to write down how many times each of these values happen. There is exactly one three. So we'll type in one. There are two fours. So we'll type in two. There seem to be two sixes, one seven, we have one, two, three, eights. And then we'll need to scroll over to see how many nines we have. So one, two, three, four nines. And then we'll also want to go ahead and count our tens while we're down here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tens. So we'll scroll back up and we'll put those values next to nine and 10. So four next to the nine and seven next to the 10. Now that we have our frequency distribution, we wanna turn this into a relative frequency distribution. So go over to list four and hover over where it says L4. Here, we're gonna be able to take list three, so second and then three, and divide it by the number of values. There were 20 values, so it's divided by 20. Once you do that, you can press enter and all of these values have now appeared. This tells us our frequency, our relative frequency distribution. So we have our list values are three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have our relative frequencies are these over here in list four. Now, specifically, we were looking for the relative frequency of an APGAR score of at least seven. That means seven or more. So seven eight, nine, and 10 would have the values of 0 0.05, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, and 0 0.35. So those are the values we're going to add together. So 0 0.05 plus 0 0.15 plus 0.2 plus 0 0.35, and we put all of that together, we're gonna to end up with 0 0.75. So relative frequency of an APGAR score of at least seven is 0 0.75.